Oh, this is so weird. It's kind of nice just having us four. I don't see Abby. Let's see if we can get her out here. This is going to be an interesting week. It's going to be just me, Yolanda, Stacy, and Jamie. I put myself on the line to come back, so we're going to have to make this work. Is Abby back here? Abby? We're all here, ready. Are you? No. You're not ready? They're in my building with that camera back here while I'm sitting here without drawing. What happened? What's wrong? What changed? I thought this we were is like. This my bedroom. Get out. Okay. You have to go. You have to go. Okay. 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 Okay
I think we're just all kind of nervous. Yeah. Because we want to make it really, 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 really good. I'm super nervous for this group dance. It is something different, something new, something that could be very, very scandalous, and people could have a lot to talk about. And we're going up against Abby as a whole different team. We're not competing under ALDC anymore. So that just adds more pressure that we have to win. You still are carrying all this baggage with you, and right now, I'm feeling it because you're feeling it. All these nerves, you got to come in tomorrow with your A game. Who cares about Abby? I see a boy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ashley. Vicky Selman, nice to meet Vicky. you. So, what's going on? <laughs> we just brought in a boy. We just brought in a boy. Hi, babe. How you doing? Great. Yeah, this is like a really high stakes week because those older kids quit and left and they refused to dance here anymore. Okay. And these little kids decided to stay. We kind of have to beat them. I mean, we kind of Like, we have no choice. Hi. I'm going to have you come inside and play the music for us. So okay, let's, so yeah. Why do you think she brought her in there? She's like afraid that we're going to like eat her alive. She's afraid we're going to run her off. Is that his mom or his grandma? No, it's his mom. Great, we got rid of Jill. Now we got another old lady. <laughs> this is a dance grandma, people. This is dance moms. <laughs> let's go. So ready? Let's close our eyes. Let's concentrate. And let's really think. Play it. Those of us who remain wander around like abandoned children in shopping malls. Where have all the children gone? <gasps> it's the children. Gone? Where have all the children gone? Oh, wow. Is she going to redo a dance we've done before, but better? Hmm, sure it is. Kind of a slap in the face back to them. This is one of my favorite pieces ever, and it can't be any less. So you have to be better than the original. We're going to do a piece that I did before, Where Have All the Children Gone? And it has a male voice that narrates the song. And I had each girl kind of die off as the number went on. Now, the reason I had the kids die off is because they couldn't really dance. Now, I have four girls that can really dance. And I'm going to use a boy to bring that voice to life, hide behind him. Ready? One, two, three, go. Disappear. That's a good visual, too, is that they disappear. Already, he's front and center. He's right up there. They're going to be backup dancers. I would almost be more upset if I was Ashley, because yeah. Bryn is 13. She's so obviously the lead of this group. Bryn risked everything to come back and dance with Abby. She gave up her teammates. She lost her friends. She has been called a traitor on social media. And yet, we're going to walk back in here, and she's going to put some boy in front of Bryn, like he's the star of the team. That is not what we came back for. Why are you coming in? We're all coming in. Why? I mean, why are you doing this? Bryn came back to dance with these kids, and you're making her look stupid by putting her in the back behind this kid that you don't even train. Yeah. You want her to grow a pair so she can be the boy? Is that what you're saying? I don't think we need you're a disgusting. boy. We are going to be looked at by those old moms and say, see, she doesn't appreciate your kid. She's got some other kid dancing in front of them. They're dead to you. What do you care? I'm not discussing anything. It's my studio. I do as I damn please. I want to win. We need to win, whatever it takes. Because losing to that other studio is not an option. This is it. You are going to enhance your reputation, prove yourselves, win. That's why we're going. You understand that? And you know when that other team steps out on stage that people cheer for them and scream and yell for them because they have a reputation. But you can be the new kid on the block. You can be the person that beats the team with the reputation. Stay focused, keep your eye on the prize, and go out there and win it tomorrow. And walking slow, slow, and a slow, slow, and a step, turn, step, kick, step. I don't have a very good feeling about this group dance. These kids have been working on it all week, but they're still all over the place. We're going to competition tomorrow against Abby. We've got to get our together. And hit, hit, and down. Oh, gosh.
Listen, I do not want them to go in there and lose and it'd be like, oh, you lost because you're the rejects and right. you have Chloe back and mm. If it's not like what it's supposed to be, I don't think any of us have a problem stepping in and voicing our concerns. I love Aisha, but there's a lot on the line tomorrow. And honestly, I think Aisha maybe bit off more than she could chew. Okay, so here's the thing. What we can't do is put them out there to look foolish. We've done it too many times, not, not, not at this point. So here's the thing. I feel like everyone is trying to control the situation, and that's not what I'm here for. So giving you guys an inch somehow allowed you guys to think you could take a mile. And I feel like that's all just gonna have to stop today. Are you talking to us? I'm talking to all of you. We're coming into this already thinking, this is different, I'm not comfortable, I'm gonna lose. So we're starting off with a losing attitude. And that, to me, is already a loser. I'm not saying, oh, we're going to lose. I'm just saying this is different from us. We're all feeling a little uncomfortable because they just left the teacher they've been with for the past however many years. It's weird because I'm dancing with these girls again for the first time in two years. We're just all a little new to this. And I think you just have to give us time to do that. We just, we don't have time. There's no time. I'll tell you straight up, like, they left the studio. They have something to prove. And I want to make sure that you're capable and able to do that. I've been doing this for a very long time, and I just feel like a little bit disrespected. Right now, it's not about you. It's about my but kids. But you know what? If you didn't want me here, then you shouldn't have brought me here. I didn't bring you here. Time. I didn't. I am here trying to help you guys do a job. All I want to do is jump in the rehearsal and do what we have to do with the understanding that we have a little respect for each other. Because right now, I'm not getting it. And I'm a little frustrated, I'm irritated, and all I want to do is dance. Aisha is upset, and she starts dropping the F-bomb and yelling at the moms and yelling at the girls. Take all that outside. I don't need that in here, because that is disrespectful. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Bye. I don't think in my entire career that I've ever felt more disrespected by a group of people in my life. We have a dance competition to win tomorrow. We need to beat the ALDC, and now we're screwed. Bye. Thanks so much. Okay, we're ready. Oh, oh wow. wow. I want to make sure that the slayage is on point times a million. So get your shoes, get your heels, and let's take it in the other room. Let's go, let's go. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, my god. Guess what they're doing? Where have all the children gone? I told you they're going to do a concept. Did I not tell you that? that was our dance. She recycles. She recycles numbers. But that's annoying. Are you really going to try to touch that you classic? You don't touch piece? a classic because our because kids everybody put loves that on our the map. kids doing that number. So Abby, how are you feeling about this iconic dance going on another time years later? I don't know. Are you going to be watching? Yes. Let's go play music. The original Where Have All the Children Gone still remains one of my all-time favorite numbers the ALDC has ever competed. And this could potentially be even better. I brought in a young man named Darian to give us a competitive edge. But everybody on this team has to pull their weight because I won't build a new team with second place dancers. Where have all the children gone? Whoa! I'm more confident now. Ladies, focus. I need you guys to take a deep breath and really think about everything that you have at stake today. OK? Let's see how it works. Ready? Here we go. And a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one! One, one, one! What happened? This is not going to cut it. Hey, girls. How's it going? Oh, you do not look happy. No, not yet. You guys are great dancers. I'm never going to take that from you. However, I can't afford to lose. Like, And it's not for me. It's for you guys. This is what you said you wanted. I'm trying to give it to you. You got to take it. 
we've been pushed down so many times to not be our personality yes. for so long. For so many years, all of our moms would say, don't do it for Abby, do it for yourselves. But it was so hard because every single time we stepped out there, we were, we were always middle. pressured to represent uh, ALDC and represent her. Represent and now, ourselves. like, yeah, now, now we're a team, friends. but we can really just be our best just to prove ourselves that we can do it without We all gotta shine in our own ways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, we need what? every like single person in the audience amazing. speechless. We're gonna make them speechless no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> The creaking silence of age echoes through the streets, sounds like old wooden floors under heavy feet. All of the children once running around have evacuated, or maybe they just disappeared. Where have all the children gone? Just yesterday, they were tying ribbons in trees and swinging from the branches. They were leaping over hot coals and swooning at anything. Where have all the children gone? Those of us who remain wander around like abandoned children in shopping malls. Where? Have all the children gone? Maybe this is just a dream. Maybe we are sleeping in rooms filled with metal shells. If we put our ears to those shells, they would tell us stories of how they were emptied, emptied by the fingers of fathers emptied into the flesh of their sons and daughters. Where have all the children gone? We hope they are hiding. We hope they are playing a game. But we know this is really happening. Where have all the children gone? Where have all the children gone? Good job, Nana. Thank you. The group routine sent chills down my spine. We're gonna beat that other team, that's for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the last dance. disappointed. In fact, I'm furious. Those are definitely not the dancers that I raised them to be. It was like, whoa, that's disgusting to me. It's the epitome of trash, as far as I'm concerned. So you know what? That's it. I refuse to sit in that audience ever again. Abby is leaving. Oh. Good, let her go. Instead of where have all the children gone, where has the dance teacher gone? She's clearly storming out because she cannot handle the fact that they are now older and they can pull off a number that's more theatrical, you know, pushing the envelope. The whole point is to show they are growing up. They can do something different. And this dance is different.
This is my reaction to the girls right now. Just prepare them for a tour. That is a number of people will be talking about. It will be memorable. That is disgusting. I'm, I'm actually nauseous. Like, I'm not sick to my stomach that these moms are okay with it. Is he burning up there? Hell no. I didn't pay thousands of dollars for her to become a stripper. No. Where did their leader go? What happened? Their leader, Ashley. I think we should all go. Our minions are running. They are like, they're like ducklings with their mother duck. Hey. You all right? I don't want to be a part of this. It was gross. All right, ladies and gentlemen, how we feel? The little kids in the audience. I mean, I can't, I felt uncomfortable as I an was adult That's what I woman. That I felt a little nauseous. Yes. I've known Kalani since she was eight. Bryn's on stage right now for a Yeah, once. I'll just stand, I'll just stand off the side until she's done. I won't pull her off, but I'm not. That is I mean, not OK. Regardless if Abby is here or not, we have to win because this group dance is a classic. That some of those kids on the other team, the Irreplaceables did the first time around. And so if our girls pull off a first place win, that would be slapping those other mothers in the face. And in first place. Number 152, where have all the children gone? You know, our dance is memorable, and Where Have All the Children Gone, part two, is not. The girls look like they were on Broadway. Do they have a lot of growing to do? Absolutely. And that is why I hope this is in the end of this incredible journey for us. It's just a really good dance. I just wanted to do it and just do it really well. Like a certain person, like sort of pushed something out of me. Like I was just not inspired. I just you felt the I need felt to it. show them. I felt the need to, really to show somebody up. Yeah. Yeah. Like, That's uh, probably Brand. I'm uh, thinking. I'm thinking. If they were trying to dress me that, you would not. Ever no, you would have never been in that. You would never let me. She's, she's narrow-minded, too. If Abby would have done that dance, yeah, she wouldn't have been Oh, yeah, no. Right. Abby did way worse. No. Was she worse. disgusted when you I were a drug dealer or you were a hooker? No. no. She was no. disgusted. She was, on, she was on board with that. You know what? Say what you want about me, my daughter, and the rest of these girls are off limits because they have shown time and time again that they have more class than any of the adults in this situation. All right, I'm going to go. Out. See you guys. All right. Oh, oh, there they go. Wait, there they go. Why are you running? Someone over here said that our kids look like strippers. Ashley. There she goes. Ashley. 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 I know you hear me. Ashley, don't change her. Ashley. Ashley, did you say that about our children? Did she run? Did Ashley? 
she really say that? Out. I can't no, my strippers. Did she really say that? And she's cowardly walking out. What? That they're disgusting, disgusting mothers for letting their kids do that. That's what I think. Why? Why? She's pissed. Because her kid didn't win. I cannot believe that that woman just turned around and said we are disgusting mothers. You are disgusting because you are with a felon. Yeah. What are they disgusted by? Because they're wearing flats, and people that wear flats every day are angry. <laughs> they're bitter and angry. <laughs> I'm just Can saying. I get an amen? I think the biggest problem that she's having right now is not only did her daughter not place in her solo, but nobody watched her kid in the group dance because they only looked at the boy. Yeah, and her daughter was supposed to be true. the leader. That is true. So she's disgusted because she picked wrong. Honestly, I would honestly just say, let's not even give them energy. Their kids were not amazing. And yours are. <laughs> You know what? It was a pretty profound week for us. We were a new team. Chloe and Christy are back. We have the world before us. We have embarked on our new journey with this team, the Irreplaceables. No formation yet. We're just going to start with the moves. So go, no way, like that. Boom, boom, bring it up. Yeah, just make sure you put like extra swag on it. Make this nice and slow. Boom, 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 boom. 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 Why isn't Melissa saying anything to Abby about this? But Melissa has chosen to not address the situation and pretend that it doesn't exist. It's just a matter of time. Something's going to happen that's going to make Melissa snap. It's inevitable. I never, ever, ever thought this day would come. I mean, Melissa is Queen ALDC. I can't imagine my days without Melissa. Thank you for letting me be part of your goodbye brunch, Melissa. Ashley's been doing really well so far. I'm so proud of her. She's well, trying to turn over a new tree. It's like junior high when you're being asked to sit with the popular kids instead of sitting by yourself. I mean, it's a little exciting. <laughs> For once, it's nice to have peace with these moms. Now, is this more what you had in mind for this week? Because it yeah. seems like this week has not gone quite like you yeah. wanted. Well, what exactly did you want? I feel bad. I don't want those minis being such yeah, asses. it's not what you want, but you know what you don't want. It's not about them. It's about us. I think Abby's behavior is the most disappointing. I really do. Maddie's the closest she's ever had to having a child. Mm -hmm. I think that's part of the reason why she's struggling a little bit. Oh, she's clearly struggling. And I think that, I think you're mad about Ari's solo and everything that's going on with that. Like, Ari has a solo that's like meaningful for her, but your kids don't. It's terrible. She is like not acknowledging this at all. Your girls deserve more, our team deserves more. I just want to reminisce and have fun and not so, just to, say, just to let you know. Because we can make it fun. We can turn it around, just saying. Melissa hates confrontation. Hates, hates, hates. She doesn't want any kind of argument. But the Melissa we're seeing right now is definitely not happy. That's definitely not the Melissa that we know. And it's like, come on, you're leaving. You have nothing to lose. I would let it all just hang out right now. The final walk, Melissa. Take this the wrong way, but we'll be 
would arrive as a league competition team for one final time. So would you just let's have a last moment just to walk in together as a team and we'll meet you upstairs later? Let them have their last time because we're here and we're going to take their place and we're over it. Come on, girls. How is everybody? Melissa, how you doing? I'm good. You good? You relishing in the I moment? I think she's ecstatic. I no, know. I cried. I was crying down there. Oh, stop. I will say this week has been a weird week for me because you have been in some way very much in denial that they're leaving. Melissa just wants everything to be happy, and it's really hard for some people to process the closure of what it means to move on. Our elite team will never be the same no. anymore. Are you sad that Maddie and Kenzie are leaving and Melissa's um, leaving? Because we've all expressed our feelings. I don't I think you've gone through it. all that we've been reminiscing. I don't and... know. I need to really worry about the kids that are here. I actually thought that I hoped and prayed that I would move on first and take them with me. We all know that Abby changed the way people look at dance, but it's not Abby moving on, it's these girls. And that's not sitting well with Abby. Girls, light up right here. Want to say a few things? This will be the last time <clears throat> that um, I work with Maddie McKenzie. Well, it's kind of like when you graduate from high school and you're off to something Maybe not better, maybe not bigger. You never know what your future holds. They don't. They think they have it all planned out. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Just say it. She should have said something to Mackenzie and Maddie. Yeah. And, and not even the team. To the two students who helped create it all. I know, but I think there's a certain way that you treat people as well. And I think the way that you ladies have treated me today is disrespectful. Immature and ugly. Just saying. I think there's a way to be respectful for both situations going on. We're very respectful towards you and your son. There's also people who have been here from the start, from the beginning, who have paved the way for all of your kids to be here today. I always say, oh, we're here for you, respectful. I've never talked to her like that, I never would. When you say you don't care about this and you're talking about kids, that's... Her kids yeah. paved the way for your kids to be here. Your kids wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her to have kids. You haven't been through what we've been through. Guess what? Your kids will be nothing. Our kids will be nothing without you? You really think that? Screw all of you. Come on, ladies. The fans will not love you. Come on, girls. you. All of them. Best sick dude of my life with you guys. Not maybe not too much of the um, stressful part, but and I can be with you every day. Small group hip hop, age 13 and 14, number 128, Boss Ladies. This is Maddie McKenzie's last performance with our team, and we've got a lot of cards stacked against us right now. There is clearly an elephant in the room with Melissa and Abby. The minis are here. Abby's completely invested in that. If we lose this week, it is gonna be devastating for us. Yo. 
This is exactly how I wanted to end my whole experience on the team. I ended it with the bangs, great. I wanted to win and it happened. So it was just a great day. I think it looks great. Oh, do I hear them? Are they coming? Yeah. This win today is going to put you on the pyramid as official members of the Abbey Lane Dance Company. <laughs> These kids will be official members of the ALDC, absolutely. But like I say, getting to the top is one thing, but staying there is another. Do you want to say anything before, before they walk out the door, Abby? Uh, Maddie, Mackenzie, you did solos for the ALDC as your teacher. I saw mistakes. Really? Maddie, when you stepped out on stage, I feel like you weren't sure if your head was down or you were looking straight where you were walking or you were supposed to turn front and really play it up. Mackenzie, on this uh, gyrating, pulsing section, that is your moment to really strut out there. Uh, I really didn't see that. They did very well today. They did. They did great. Where are you going? Uh, Why is there something you want to say? Uh, is that last time they're walking out the door? That was it. Melissa, how are you feeling? Oh, you know what? I'm not doing it. I, I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm leaving. Overall, um, our time at the ALDC has been fabulous, exciting, adventurous. More good times than bad times, for sure. Now's your chance to say nope. anything you want. I don't want to say anything. I'm good. I'm great. Just saying. She's mad. Yeah, she needs to talk with Abby. That's what she really does. Really talk. She needs to talk and to her. Her. That's what we were saying. But she doesn't want to hear it. She doesn't really doesn't want to hear it. She's right to tear up. She doesn't want to hear it. They were Abby's favorites, and Abby never wanted to show up, so I can only imagine what the future holds for this team, you know? But we have to stand strong. These kids have worked too hard and come too far to let it all crumble. To the best of my ability, I'm not gonna let that happen. We pretend like everything's okay, and everything's not okay. Do you know what? This is where it leaves us. Well, she made it all the way to the end without being direct. And she had nothing to lose. This weekend, we will be traveling to Miami Beach, Florida. I love Miami. It's tropical. It's exciting. It's fun. It's fast paced. There's sun, there's sand, and there's pool boys. We will all be performing a group number. Even me? Even you. Yay. The group number is called Reputation. I want you to think about Annette Funicello and Frankie Avalon in Beach Blanket Bingo. Miss Abby starts talking about Annette Funicelli and the Beach Bingo. I have no idea what she's talking about. Now, moms, when those girls get home tonight, I want you to look at some of those old movies, I want the girls to see what that's all about because that's gonna be their group number. It's 60, it's pony, it's swim, cute, 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 fun in the sun. I wanna see big high ponytails, big beautiful smiles, 
and little itsy bitsy 60s bikinis. I want to take the girls back to an era of innocence, to Frankie and Annette and, you know, the beach blankets and the beach balls and the umbrellas. If you don't point that foot, I'm going to come out there and break it. Point your foot. We're going to Miami. And in South Florida, every kid dances. And every kid is amazing. Paige will be very upset if she doesn't get to do the trio. I agree. She'll go on there, dance, whether her foot hurts oh, or not, I just because she, she doesn't want to be replaced in the trio. Why are you doing the surgery now? Can, you can't wait like a couple more weeks? Couple she, weeks. She's having a hard time walking on Aww. it. Abby says that dancers dance through pain. That's fine if you're on Broadway, but my daughter is 11 years old, and if she can't dance, she's not dancing. Did she mention what the trio was going to be? No, and I thought she would have, because I was wondering if she had to switch it up, who it might be, because I think Nia would have gladly stepped uh -huh. in. Yeah, was, Nia was volunteering herself I pretty see much that. there. Yeah. I am continuously frustrated with Abby. Nia has so much to offer. She has great potential. And yet, Abby only sees one aspect of Nia. And I'm beginning to believe she will never get a trio. I'm getting really sick and tired of it. OK. All right, Miss Holly. Good luck. Hi. One, two, three, four. Why are you interrupting my rehearsal? Can I see you for a second outside, just for a moment? Just for Holly, a moment. Holly, I am just... coming to your school. I'm walking into your office, and I'm going to interrupt you. It's ridiculous. Uh, you go ahead and do that. I have parents who do that all the time. I don't think there's anything more invasive than being interrupted. Holly is now a principal. She, of all the mothers, should understand. I would like for Nia to be considered for the trio. You said you would consider her, yet you looked at her and you looked beyond her in pyramid and didn't even give her the courtesy of being considered you for that. You are so far off my plans. You have no clue. I was already planning on Nia being the swing for Paige in the trio, but Holly can't even give me three seconds to let me tell her this. No, she has to come in, interrupt my rehearsal again. Paige might not be able to do it. Nia's in. Why didn't you just and say that? Nia has a solo. Because you come and interrupt me. You don't need to do that. You don't know what my master plan is. I have no idea. You would think that she would have a little bit of respect. What I asked was that we're on the same page. That's all you had to say. It's like Holly was thinking the same thing. That's all you had to say. Yeah, you didn't have Holly, to. it's not about what you're thinking. I it is about what you're and thinking. You know what? It does matter what I'm thinking because I'm her mother. A mother looking out for our daughter trumps the word of a dance teacher all of the time. Not times. inside this studio, it doesn't, sweetheart. This is my domain. I'm the principal here. But you, it's my what office. What you, fear, what you fail to realize, Abby, I don't is that you said you don't control me. I will not be bossed around in my own studio. I give Nia a solo, and then I think about putting her in the trio, but that's just not good enough for Holly. Nothing's ever good enough. Well, you know what? Detention is good enough, and that's what her and Nia both need. Yeah! Oh, go! <gasps> what did you say? She you got a solo to tonight, Abby. and you just blew it. You're expelled. You're done. Holly didn't do Nia any favors. She ruined this entire evening's rehearsal. Nia didn't even get a chance to learn the trio. What has Holly accomplished? Nothing. There are no amount of solos, duos, trios which are worth this aggravation. Are you leaving? I am never setting foot in the studio again. Girls, we have two days, two days before you're in Miami against all those kids that dance at a studio and at school. And then there were two. I know. You know what, Nobody though? likes us. The two bitches are left. <laughs> I don't blame Holly and Nia for not being at rehearsal today. I wouldn't want to look at her either after she talked to me that way. I mean, Abby just pushes and pushes, and I hope she didn't push too far this time. Smile! Over the top! Watch the foot! Do you think Holly will come at all? I don't know. I texted her, and I asked her how she was, and her response was, I'm not good. And I can't imagine her not bringing her to Miami. I mean, she has a solo, too. You know yeah. what I mean? I know. If we lose Holly, it's going to be a devastating loss to our team. She's our center. She really is. She keeps us sane, believe it or not, if we were even to be called sane. I feel bad because we have to learn this dance. So then Neil will be behind. Hold. 
two, three, four, and exit. I think we're good. I think that's a wrap. I don't know where Nia is, but rehearsal's over. She missed it. Remember, everyone's replaceable. Have a seat right here. Hey. Hi. Holly blew up at me the other night because she wants Nia in a trio, but they have been absent from rehearsals for an entire day and a half. We're leaving for Miami tomorrow. She definitely wants to come back. Nia wants to be here. And I just don't want what happens to interfere with her dance progress and whatever the issues we have oh, with each other. I would me. never let a kid's parent hold them back. Nia, you need to get into rehearsal. I just don't want you to let her miss rehearsals. She will be here. Nia makes her own opportunities. She has to earn it. I decided to come back to the studio to teach Nia how to take the high road, be a bigger person, and to not run away from your problems. Hey, ladies. Hi. Oh, hey. So glad you're back. Hey. Hey. The hardest thing was walking through that door again. Yeah. I certainly didn't want to do that. Nia really wanted to come, and she wanted, she was worried about the group dance. What a team player. She is. I, I mean, know. That's the first thing she asked about this morning before I went to school. Am I going to dance today? I'm like, are you kidding me? Ultimately, my daughter loves to dance. She has that passion. And if that means that I have to deal with that evil witch, Abby, then I guess I'll just be the bigger person. Nia, don't make any mistakes. Because you missed the whole first rehearsal when I had time to go through mistakes. going to Miami. I know there's going to be amazing dancers there. I mean, they are on their A game all the time. Nia, that whole entire section is what we went over and over and over, and you missed it. And that's the part you messed up. All right, girls, dismiss. It's over, Nia. Maybe you can practice in Florida. Tell them about the movie. What other moves did they do? Really? The pony, the swim, the jerk. Or the pony, the swim, and the jerk in your number. Yes. So let's see, stand up. <laughs> well, the girls have worked really hard and we only have a few hours to spend on the beach. Yep. Can you go in the water? Yes. How about if I pick you up and throw you in the water? Can we go? Go, 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 go. I don't know how cold it is, guys. <laughs> Loser. I could have gotten lost at sea. Performing next, we have an Abby Lee dance routine. because I could just tell in their attitude. This, the costumes are so adorable. They come strutting out, and I just love this dance. I think that everybody doing something different in the choreography really worked in our favor. When the girls went back to the umbrella and Brooke did her round off act layout step out, the crowd went crazy. Thank you so much for coming out. It was amazing. In fourth place, the ladies from Riviera Prep. 
This group was clearly the best. They were the most entertaining, they were having fun, the whole audience was into it. I would really be surprised if they didn't win first. Moving on, third place ensemble, Beach Bun from Even though we did not win first place in the group category, I'm still very proud of the girls. Not only is the competition fierce in Miami, but they were competing against girls in high school, and they still placed in the top three. That's impressive. What if you did brush, whack, through that leg behind you, use your momentum on the verge, is a very difficult piece. It's about women on the verge of a breakdown. And I think the kids are gonna do a great job with this piece. Take your body lower, your left shoulder. Come on, think, figure out what you're doing. Why, why, why can't you stay there? You know what's kind of funny? Is I've never seen Abby put anybody like third spot on the pyramid like she did Maddie for being too perfect. <laughs> did anybody else catch that? I mean, it's weird because Maddie should have been at the top, but Every week, it's something. Excuse me? Melissa, did you really just say Maddie should have been at the top of the pyramid? You know, I know you're freaking out because Maddie didn't get the Broadway baby solo, or any solo for that matter. Maybe all that poop scooping really didn't pay off, did it? Because Nia's the one doing the solo. Really happy for Nia that she has a solo. That's an enormous responsibility to do a tribute for Broadway baby. It better be good and perfect exactly. because she will hold her to it. Really, these moms are too much. Holly's been begging for a solo for months. Now Nia has a solo, and now it's too much responsibility. Asia can dance with any subject matter with no complaints because she's a professional. Slow down, slow down. She's seven, you're 15, you're in charge. If you can't do this to her, come here. If you can't do this and slow her down, you're not a leader. Brooke wasn't a leader. I needed her to step up and take charge of this team and she didn't. Sorry, I have to go here. I just don't think, once you've left three times, there's got to be a time where you leave and you are not welcome back. Being on the elite competition team is a great opportunity for any dancer. And Kelly is not gonna take that away from my daughter. Not one of you women feel uh, just a tad bit upset well, that she constantly me. picks up and leaves this team. Oh. Well, Leslie, you're also just desperate to be on the team. So say what you mean, you don't like me? Leslie better be careful. You know, she's really not a member of this team, and the last thing she wants to do is make an enemy out of me. Dad, okay, Christy. Oh, look who's calling me. Kelly. Hello. Hello. Hey, yeah. Kelly. Hello. Hello. What you doing? I was actually calling to see if you and Holly and Jill would like to come over my house. Oh. Oh. Thought we could catch up and see what's been going on. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm there. I know Kelly is still mad at me because I didn't speak up to Abby when she pulled Paige's solo from the recital and pushed Maddie into doing hers. But I had to do what I had to do. Can we talk you into coming back? Uh, I don't know about that. Well, that's nice of you. Thanks, Thanks for the invitation. Bye. All right. Bye, Kel. Bye. Melissa, do you feel bad that Kelly didn't invite you over? Well, of course. I mean, I, you know, I mean, I've been, I've been her friend for years, so I mean, it hurts me, but I'm hurt too. You know, well, she doesn't know you're here. I'm jagging, Melissa. Oh. You think Kelly oh. would invite me over? Oh. Mm. I didn't get invited to Kelly's house. Mm. Well, mm, you were a jerk to her kids. Mm. Maybe there's a reason. Maybe she wants to talk about something. It's not like her just to identify well, I just think a, maybe one or two people. She knows that Melissa's close with the Abbeys. Okay. It's her choice. It's her house. Hey guys, how's it going? What the cat dragged in? Oh. Chloe, you just screwed that up. Sloppy feet. 
Are you ladies gonna go to Kelly's and talk about, oh, Leslie's there. We miss Brooke and we want Brooke back. Are you gonna do that? Is that what you're gonna do? Are you paranoid about that? I'm fine sitting in Kelly's seat for now. I'm gonna try to keep the seat for as long as I can, if not forever. So we'll see where it goes from here. And I'm not going anywhere, I'm staying. I don't care if Brooke and Paige come back. But you're really not on the team, you know. I mean, you're only here to fill in, and you keep saying you're okay with filling in, and then all of a sudden you say, oh no, I'm here to stay. And this must be deja vu, because I've been here many of times, and you keep telling me I'm not on. But you're not, but you're not on, on the team, team. Leslie. I'm you're on just, the team. I have traveled with you No, you're times. traveling with the team. You're not on the team. If and you Abby were on the team, it. would Abby would have given you the jacket? Oh no, no, I'm in Kelly's seat today. Why are you in Kelly's seat? You still have me on the end. I wanted to sit well, there. Well, get here! I, the, I couldn't. This? Kelly's seat is on the end. I could not see my daughter yesterday. Oh, wah, wah, wah. If I were Leslie, I would just shut up and be happy that I was here for the moment. I think you guys are lucky, though. Yeah. I would love and die for Peyton to be getting this special attention. All these critiques are better than no attention at all. My name is Leslie, and I beg, beg, beg for my daughter Peyton to be on the team, and blah, 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 and I annoy the crap out of everyone. Chloe, let's see. Come here. If Chloe drops that ban, uh, I'm moving to South America. Here you are complaining again. No, Leslie, I'm not complaining. All I said was if Chloe drops the ban, I'm moving to South America because of what happened when she dropped the hat. But you wouldn't know because you weren't here because you're not really on the team. No, I am on the team. I'm here. You're well, speaking you to me. I'm on well, this team. You're, you weren't on the team back then. But I am now. Oh, this is tiny, tiny, tiny. The last time we talked, you guys were getting ready to leave for Kelly's house. What happened there? Oh, you didn't hear? No. Kelly's here. Today? Here? What? Yeah. Why? The fact of the matter is, Kelly is, and her kids are part of the team. No. Let's get something straight. The Abby Lee Dance Company has one president, and it's me. I rule this Abby Lee Dance Company. When you have a quarterback that's old, and they've had a good run, and you have a new kid sitting on the bench, you gotta cut the quarterback loose, and you gotta go with the new rookie. This is the Abby Lee Dance Company. It's my company. It's not up to them who becomes a member. It's nice to have you here, Kelly. It really is. Thank you. Leslie says you're not a part of the team anymore because you left. It's Are really not up to Leslie, is it? <laughs> But I'm in your seat and you're not, so. Well, thanks for keeping it warm for me. If you come back, that doesn't mean we're getting ki we're kicked off. You know what, Leslie? Keep coming and going. I'm going to continue to do it not. as long as Abby treats the my kids the way she does. Back. You are hurting my daughter. What am I doing to Peyton? You I show up my again. house with my team members and they want me here. I am more a part of this team than you will ever no, be. No, you're not. You're a friend. You're a habit that's hard to break. Well, maybe we should ask them. If you're gonna leave, leave. Everybody did fabulous. Okay. Thank you, Kelly. And I'll Thank watch you. your dance. Thank you. I and I will be supporting Peyton, whether you believe me or not. We all have our own opinion on what happened out there. And my opinion is, I, I thought it was wrong for her to show up. It makes my daughter and I uncomfortable. It was unnecessary. I'm mad if Kelly gets back on this team. Our opportunity to travel with Abby is going to be taken away from us again. And I don't want that. I don't want that. I want more than that for my daughter, Peyton. Taking the stage now is entry number 79. Here they are with On the Verge. did a nice job, but the choreography was very intricate. Sometimes simple and clean is better than difficult and sloppy. Fourth place, entry number 79 on The Verge. <laughs> Fourth place, 
The only thing worse than fourth place would be Kelly crashing the competition. I think I've had enough. It's time for me to go home. So what do we think of the number, ladies? I loved it. I uh, thought it was really good. I it was. It. Thank, Thank you. you. This is Peyton's second week now with the team. Not on the team, with the team. Just saying. It's very difficult. Coming into you ladies, you ladies have this pack. And it's known you've run quite a few people off, including myself a few times. When you're here, I'm not here, because that's the reason you're here, is you're replacing Brooke. Why why be here, then? If you, you know this is happening with Abby. Because I'm part of this team, and my kids are part of this team, and we're gonna be part of this team, whether Abby likes it or not. The truth is, we're really not a team without Kelly and her girls, and frankly, I'm afraid to go to nationals without them. I want them back. You wouldn't like me on this team anyway, though, because I would do everything for my kid. I won't hurt your kids, but if my child gets an opportunity, I'm taking it. We're not just raising dancers, we're raising people. No matter how much I want Nia to succeed in life, if she's not a good person, then I have failed. And that might be the reason why Leslie doesn't quite fit in here. Either Melissa and Jill, the biggest dance moms around, want more for their daughters than stardom or fame. I'd rather be who I am and be not a success on Broadway because I can look myself in the mirror for a dance on a stage. When opportunity comes knocking, you better take advantage of it. Hey, what kind of kid are you raising? I want my daughter to have this. Shame on you. OK, well, I'm going to be open right now. I'm tired of this chit chat. And if my daughter doesn't get a solo, then I'll leave and take the next opportunity and work in LA. I'm tired of this chat. About? I'm just tired of this chat. All the fighting, the complaining, the unhappiness. I just had enough. Peace. OK, ladies, the piece is called Beautiful. And what it's about is not how pretty you're going to be in your costumes, not how pretty your hair is, but what's on the inside. And it's about taking a good look in the mirror not at what you see, but like the internal mirror. Are you getting any of this, Mackenzie? Yeah, it's a little deep for nationals. We're only doing one group number. It's called This Is My Beauty. Hold the mirror and cover your face. The girls use handheld mirrors as props for the routine. We're trying to get the message across to the judges that we believe that we're beautiful, dancing is beautiful, everybody's beautiful. You're going to roll, stage left, go. Roll. Left, take your right mirror out. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's so nice out. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. I feel bad actually coming out here and the girls are left inside. I know, yeah. those poor kids. It's really pretty here. It is. So everybody sucks. And that was the message. You all sucked in the last two weeks, but I want to see enthusiasm. I thought they did great. Well, girls, I have news for you. Pregnant. Oh my God. I'm going on vacation without the girls. When? About them? Yeah, so I'm leaving them here with Gia. In Tahoe? Yes. Oh, this is Miss so, Dance competition. I'm so excited. Where are you going? Florida. I'm so excited. I just who, need to get away. Who are you going with? My honey. I can't believe Melissa's leaving again. Last week, she left to go spend time with her boyfriend, and this week, she's leaving to go on vacation with him. Her priorities have definitely changed since the boyfriend came into the picture. Ladies, quieter. I need you to come in and watch rehearsal. I need you to be in there the whole time. I know it's hot but I need you to be in there. What's that arm doing, Nia, on the fan kick? Nia, I don't want to start the day out screaming at you. Think about what you're doing. Do it right. We're in Lake Tahoe at Starbound Nationals. This is when the girls decide. Do they go home national champions, or do they go home with their tails between their legs? Oh, how good it feels You better to turn be that left foot out. Beautiful. How wonderful Get that up in the air! No one's holding the mirror in front of their face. We're at nationals this week, and it's a lot of pressure. Like, a lot of pressure. That leg has to go up in the air, Chloe. Arch your back. Chloe! I don't know what's going on with Chloe. She hasn't been rehearsing or performing with any enthusiasm or energy. She needs to pull it together. There's no more time for this woe is me. I'm leaving tomorrow for vacation, so it's nice to go out with the kids for something fun and not rehearsal. I'm Kurt. I'm the father of Maddie and Mackenzie. I came here because I found out Melissa was going on vacation. 
She didn't tell me she was going away. She didn't tell me anything. So, Miss, why, why didn't you tell me? Seriously. I did, Kurt. I don't want to talk about it. I told you. I, I guess mean, I did. You don't listen to me. I'm not trying to fight you. No, you would have told me. You, if you would have said that to me, I would have known. Kurt, I did tell you. Yes, I did. You don't listen to me when I talk. I told you. Kurt is not a very good listener. I told him that I was leaving my whole marriage with him. He just never listens to what I say. I heard from a third party. So I told that my you. my kids are going to be Kurt, without a parent. I'll wait. So what? Who cares? I don't want to talk. Go crazy! But that look, was... look, look, look. Look, look, Totally I was really mad because I really don't appreciate when my ex-husband is checking up on me. Guys, we gotta leave. Dance had a lot to do with the breakup of my family. I mean, I'm their father, and I have a right to know who's watching my kids. I'm not leaving here. I'm staying with my kids. Uh-oh. Kurt is here at the competition because Melissa's on vacation. Kurt's their dad. They're going to be across the country, and I think it's only normal that they have a parent there. Hey, man. How are you? Oh, you look pretty. Thanks. You ready? Mm-hmm. You know what I get? Huh? Oh, no. Just oh, be yeah. yourself. Yeah. Just don't worry about anyone else. I want to be right? nervous. No, you don't get nervous. That. There's nothing to be nervous about. We're getting our girls ready, and all of a sudden, Kurt walks in, and Maddie's like, OK, Dad, nice to see you, but go. I don't know if he makes her nervous. I don't know if she feels conflicted between taking a side and she feels that she's betraying her mom if she's nice to her dad. But she definitely didn't want him around. Break the leg. OK, bye. Go. Just, you go. <laughs> Please. All right, I'll let you go. OK, bye, Ken. I'll see you a little later. OK. You all right? Sure. I get a little nervous when my dad comes backstage. He freaks me out sometimes because it's not the same as my mom. It's very important that the girls win for their group number because this is our last competition of the season, our final nationals. I want the girls to win. They have worked too hard. They've come too far. We need a winning number, and they need to pull it together. Hey, no, 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 no. So Kurt comes in the dressing room, and Abby doesn't even let his foot cross the threshold. And she's like, you, out. I need to talk to you. And I'm just sitting there thinking, oh, well, for once, it's not me. I don't want you near her. Why? Because she get her worked up. I've told you before, this is not the place or the time. We want to win this group dance. She's an integral part of it, and I want her to be focused. Why he makes her nervous, I don't know. But he was an athlete, he claims. And he did all this, and he knows everything. And I think he tries to give her tips that don't make sense. And he's rude to other people. So that is offensive to Maddie. And it gets her worked up, and she doesn't want to be embarrassed by her dad. I'm not working my daughters up. How am you I don't working think them up? You are. How am you I are. What up? other dad is in that room right now? Not one other that, dad. That goes to show you that I'm here for my kids. Five minutes before she's supposed to go on stage, she does not need you in there saying something stupid. What do I say that you think she's... she just gets upset? She does not get yes, upset. Yes, she does. No, she does. I've daughter, seen her. I know my daughter more than you do. Trust me. I know my I daughter. I spend more time with her. You know what this, this dance has done to me and my family, don't you? Well, you know what? You keep saying that. It, it, it's true. But I'll true. tell you what. You have them brainwashed through they live in fear. I didn't need Melissa to be at the studio. She wanted to be there all those hours. That, that's not what I'm she trying to tell you. She wants to be there. And I want you to know, too. But you, when she you wasn't did at not, home with you, you making make, dinner. You didn't make my daughters. You didn't make my daughters. No, I trained her. You trained her. And I put that's her name right. on the map. That's right. I will tell you this. I will do everything possible for my daughter to leave your studio next year. I am making the sacrifices for his child. He doesn't even need to be here. She's great. She's fine. Everybody knows who Maddie is. And I did that. Are you ready, Mackenzie? Come on. Head front on the garage tape. Look right at the judges on the coupe sauté. The girls have not been winning on the road. And this is the last chance for the Abby Lee Dance Company to get that national title. Everything depends on winning here at nationals. I don't want a place. I want to win the whole thing. Judges, look at this. Abby Open, ages 9 and 10, number 1001. This is my beauty. So, this is me. This is you. 
up close and true let's all be so bright and new oh how good it feels to be beautiful how wonderful it feels to be beautiful how wonderful it feels to be beautiful We were really together and we really told the story. After we did My Beauty, I thought we did really good and nailed it. And I really want to get first place with that number just because I think it's a really good number. Thank you very much. One more big round of applause for every performer on this stage. <laughs> one point. One single point. Just one separates second and first place. I'm going to call both groups up here in no particular order. This is my beauty, Abby Lee Dance Company. Woo! Rolling in the deep, McCoy Rigby Conservatory. Now, audience, are you ready for your top junior group? Winner of a cash prize? I am too. is my beauty Abby Lee Dance Company. Make some noise. They won the whole thing. They won the whole thing. I am so proud of the girls. This number won everything. They were the highest score in the entire competition. And nobody is ever going to forget the name Abby Lee Dance Company. You want to remind us one more time who your uh, dance teacher is? At what studio? Real loud. Abby Lee Dance Company! Top junior group, thank you very much. Both of you take a bow. Very proud. You look beautiful on stage. Put the hands in, and one, two, three. We are Abby Lee. Four, five, six. You should see our kicks. I'm going to try to pull Maddie and Mackenzie out of Abby's dance studio. If I can do it, I'm going to do it. I'm just sick of the way she treats people, the kids, the mothers, everyone around her. She don't care who she hurts in the process. I don't want them around that environment. I really don't. Congratulations, ladies. You are undefeated eight times in a row. That's a big deal. Not to burst your bubble, but it is early in the season. A lot of dance studios don't have their competition numbers ready yet. And it's gonna get tougher and tougher and tougher as we move along. This week, we are going to Detroit, Michigan, and we will be attending Intensity Dance Competition. This is where the car industry made people millionaires. Suddenly, the depression came and nobody's buying any cars. So we're gonna do a routine and call it Riches to Rags. Maddie, you are doing a contemporary solo. And my other solo, Kendall. And this week you're doing a pretty lyrical solo. Abby, can you just explain as to like, where Kalani fits if she can't go up against Maddie for the number one spot on this team. Kalani was brought here to dance with Maddie, not to go up against my own students. Kalani is at the top of the pyramid. I've been dying for her to go against Maddie and prove to Abby that she is the strongest dancer on this team. Okay, go ahead, get ready to dance. 
That was better, Nia. Relax your shoulders, though. You always want to relax into a turn, not tense up for a turn. Everyone knows I like to make a statement wherever we go. Now, Detroit used to be a thriving industrial town, but now it's kaput. I want to tell the story of riches to rags. Now, we're up against our ninth win in this routine. Better bring home that trophy. So the song's sassy, but you are unemployed, hungry, dirty, sad. I don't think I would go to Detroit and have like a judgment about people on unemployment. And I think the way that she's approaching it is very judgmental and it's very oh, Really? Modest. I'll be judgmental. So ready? Who's starting? Kendall, you start. It's like grade school talent shows. Exactly. I don't think that's funny. Does she want to put an end to the winning streak? You're frigid and you're cold. Abby likes to push the envelope when it comes to group dances. I just wish Abby would pay more attention to the message that she's delivering, because I'm afraid this is coming across a little cartoonish, and I don't want the people of Detroit to think we're mocking their hardships. All right, so get down stage, and you're going to step out. There is so much riding on this group number. We're on a winning streak, and I want it to continue. Proper placement. Feet, feet. Addie and Mackenzie were so excited on the way home. They said, this dance is so funny. Mackenzie, somebody missed a turn. It doesn't look so like a funny it. dance. Well, in the beginning, I guess. Oh, is it? Oh, OK. Because it they're all cute. Like, wishing they can have something in the yeah. windows. I would have to see it all together. This topic is really complex. It's pretty depressing, but the music is pretty upbeat. It's a big story to convey in a two-minute dance. Listen, girls, I'm not going to be here tomorrow. Gianna will be in charge tomorrow. No mother changes a costume. No mother changes music. No mother changes choreography. And you are not doing a solo. Got it, kiddo? All right, you're finished. Go. You're welcome. Where do you think your placement is on this team? Why are you here? Like, why are we traveling 3,000 miles to be here and to train with Abby? To be on the team and to learn. Kira is out in the hallway saying she wants to put Kalani in a solo. Kira has been able to get away with a lot with Abby, but let me tell you one thing. Don't you start messing with Maddie's reputation. When you mess with that kid's reputation, I'm going inside and getting ready to run the group dance. What's going on? Solo. What's going on? My mom wants me to do a solo, and I'm not doing it because you told me not to. I just want her to be able to showcase her talent every week. I understand your mother wants you to dance. Every mother wants their kid out there in the front, in the middle, and that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. I get that. How we get her to be permanent. How, what is it gonna, what does she need to do? Where does she need to go? She doesn't What's need this? to do anything. She's fine, I love her. I think she fits in great. Do you fit in? I don't want another Christy and Kelly on my team. And I have told you once, and now I'm telling you again. No solo today. We have been on a really amazing winning streak, and I would hate to see that all go to hell because of some little hobo dance. All right, next up in our junior small group division, we have entry number 77. Welcome to the stage, Riches to Rags.
girls danced very well. I don't think anyone in the audience had a clue what the group dance was about, but I think their dancing was great. And in first place, with a score of 280.7 points, number 77, Riches Taraz. Nine times with new routines with this group of girls. Believe it or not, I'm on cloud nine. Nine, nine is divine. Yep. <laughs> Congratulations! Good job! Good job! Nine! We have one more week, and we're going to nationals. I don't think you're in the physical condition you need to be in. I don't think you're in the mental condition that you need to be in. You're not ready. Do you think it's because of the move to LA? I mean, that's the biggest change I can see. I think it's their priorities. After you've won four nationals, that's not the goal anymore. I don't think anyone wants to go to nationals and not win. I mean, no matter how many years you've gone. You can talk about, oh, we want to go to nationals. Oh, yeah, we want to do this. Oh, yeah, we want to win. Show me. We have two soloists going head to head to see who's going to perform at nationals. Kalani, you will be doing a contemporary piece. The title is Shades of Grey. Nia? You are doing a jazz song. Yeah. You are shading everyone else with two simple words. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> By the end of this week, it will be determined who is performing a solo at nationals. Kalani, I think everybody in this room knows that you can walk on stage and win. I don't think Abby's envisioning by Felicia to be a competitive dance like Kalani's contemporary solo. But if this is for a solo at Nationals, I want Mia to do such a great job of by Felicia, it leaves everyone in awe. Kalani and Mia are going head to head for a chance at Nationals. Mia's been on this competition team from the very beginning and has yet to have a solo at Nationals. So this is a big deal for Nia. She wants, and I think deserves, a solo at Nationals. That's not all Mia has going on this week. Mia also is shooting her second music video, and this is a duet with Coco Jones. It's their song, Slay. You see for the first time when you guys are in your character, feeling yourself. Let's start with claps, though. Mikey Minden has created this elaborate vision for this video slay. The premise is that you go into a beauty salon and we give all walks of life there. Everyone's included. Everyone gets to be a part of this experience and everyone gets to feel beautiful at the end of the day. And that celebrates just the beauty of including everyone. Who doesn't deserve to feel good and beautiful about themselves? Look who's here! I'm really happy to see JoJo right now because it just makes me happy that someone from my team is here supporting me and actually gonna be in my video. Five, six, having fun! There is so much excitement and positive energy. This is an exceptional experience for Nia because she has someone who cares about who she is as she's become a young woman with a voice in the music industry. Yes! Give it up, everyone! Energy! Girls, let's go! This is for us a lot nationals, and you've never had one and I want you to really go for it. Like, go on stage and play it. I know Abby's expecting Kalani to win, but never count out Nia. When she puts her heart, soul, and confidence into something, she can rise to the occasion. All right, best wishes to both of you. Break a leg. Who's doing a solo? At Nationals. Who's not? We'll see. We know you gotta show me what you got and we can start the show. You better turn it, turn it up like it's a radio and it's your song. Are you ready to go? You only live once, better turn it, turn it up. It's showtime. That's all we know. You only get a one shot, better get out there and get it. It's showtime. Hit me, hit me, making all them hits. Who living it 
has never done a solo art national. So this competition can determine whether or not Nia will get a solo art nationals. And this is a big deal to us. We're going to start with our class division team solo category. Third overall goes to act number 31, Shades of Grey. She got third in her solo. This is BS. Second overall. Act number 57, Sky Full of Stars. Kalani got third. I'm like, oh my gosh. Poor Nia. Don't tell me this kid didn't in place. And first overall. Goes to act number 30, Bob Felicia. Oh, my God. What? Did you just say, bye, Felicia? Did you just say, Nia? Congratulations. What's your name? Nia. And what studio do you go to? Abby Lee Dance Company. Congratulations. Nia beat Kalani in the showdown. I know. Abby did not expect for that to happen. <laughs> I think I've proved to Abby that I can do a number that's entertaining and still win. That's terrific. That's a huge win. Congratulations. She looked amazing. Miss Abby, does this mean I have a solo at Nationals? No, I wouldn't say that. Why not? I thought that's what you said. I thought this is what this week was about. We have two soloists going head to head to see who's going to perform at Nationals. I know, but, I, you know, I I think Kalani had a huge breakthrough today. I think Nia had a big breakthrough, too, from first place. Do you think? 
Oh, I know. She's won, what, three times in her life? For what it's worth, I thought Nia was great. But she does not blow me away. I need a sure thing, and my sure thing is Kalani. Then are you saying that solos are still up in the air? Yes, absolutely. Every time you set the rules, the rules change. You know what? Oh, well. Nia played by Abby's rules. She won the competition. Whether it's song or music or dancing, Abby's not going to be happy with Nia, regardless of whatever Nia does. I'm going to change it up a little bit this week. And I'm going to kind of make you the leader. So instead of a solo, you're doing a duet with Mackenzie. <laughs> the name of your duet is called Run From Mother. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Brooke, hurry up. You're already eight minutes late for class. Then drive to my house and pick her up, Abby. That's not the way it works. Tell her to call a taxi. She's 14. Nobody ever has the week off. So let's just make sure that Brooke is in all the senior company classes that she's supposed to take. She's a It was 15. No, yes. Yeah. No, Kendall, wait, 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 always late. Kendall, what are you waiting for out there? You keep waiting for your mother to get places. You're going to be late the rest of your life. Kendall, good afternoon to you too, huh? I'll slam whatever I want. What, honey? Come here, Paige. Make sure in the beginning when you do that, like, rock in your head. Come on, girls, let's go. To be little. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, this is heavy. All right, girls, this is it. This is the first time that Maddie and Mackenzie are going to dance together in a duet. Maddie is usually the younger dancer in a duet, not the older one. I don't like when Abby always compares me to Maddie because I'm not Maddie. I'm Mackenzie. Mackenzie's foot seems better. Yeah, it, it is. Is her left or her right? It's her right. Every dancer has pain, whether mm -hmm. it's your foot, your back. Like, I think they if do. you want to be a dancer, you got to dance through it. Because the other girls really look great. But Melissa, she knows it. She has a spot in the dance. Let her go out there and do it. I mean, she has really improved. All right, you can go. Send Chloe. I'm going to use her first today. Focus on what you're supposed to be doing. Make sure you're with everybody. Five, six, seven, eight. OK, Mackenzie, come out of there all together. I don't think Mackenzie should be in the number. I don't think that she looks good with the rest of the girls being a foot shorter. And she has that duet to worry about. So I think if we pull her out of the number, Paige can be in the front, in the middle, and have the spotlight just on her. Mackenzie, you are not in the group dance. Frankly, I don't think you can keep up. Oh my god, they cannot pull Mackenzie from this dance the look, night before look, look, we look leave. Look at her little sad right face. That's ridiculous. If Abby didn't think she could do two numbers, then she shouldn't have put her in two numbers from the beginning of the week. All right, all right, we're finished, that's it. You're going. I don't see too much gold digging out there. I don't see anybody flirting with the audience. You're walking forward. I'm going to get you and take your money. I don't see that. I don't see that attack from either one of you. Like, imagine your mom walking into a restaurant. She'd smell that money. <laughs> Who's the guy? Who's buying me a drink? Sass isn't even going to recognize her dance. I think no. this changes the whole thing. It, it, yeah, it changes it the too. entire dance. And she's been dancing with us for 52 weeks. Now, all of a sudden, she's not good enough to dance with us? First of all, she can't do a triple turn. OK, but then why is she part of our team? I think she's a yeah, good well, addition to our team. sit in the other room doing nothing. And she can do the dance, and she can do a triple turn. But unfortunately, yes, she she's not a favorite. So she's not in there. And she gets to stay home this weekend. Guys, get your stuff. Let's go, let's go. We're here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, attending Dance Expressions competition. And it looks like there's a lot of numbers here. All right, girls, now remember, you are here at Dance Expressions. Some of the studios you're going to know, some of them you're not going to know. You need to walk out there to that stage 
Like you own it. Hey, little girl, where do you think you're going? You've been trying to prove yourself a Because your face has to be like, <gasps> when you're looking at the oh, demons. With all those demons faster, 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 faster. You cannot slow a peewee down. It looks ridiculous. Mackenzie better keep up with Maddie during this duet routine. She needs to rise to the occasion. If she screws Maddie up, she won't be dancing much longer. Good luck. That's our first duet. We have one, okay? Yes. I love you, and I love you. And seriously, when my head ties is singing. All right, moving into the junior duo trio division, we have Maddie and Mackenzie with Run from Mother. Solo, I think this would be a first place win. I hope the judges see that Maddie McKenzie dance on two different levels. However, they dance really well together. Moving into our junior duo trio, second place. Entry number 40, B Grace. And in first place with a score of 294.5 points, entry number 41, Run From Mother. <laughs> Great job, take a bow on three, girls. One, two, three. Great job. Another yeah. place, Congratulations, everyone. You too. Well awesome. Done. All around. Yeah. 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 Congratulations. Everyone. Yeah. Good. Oh, good. 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 I know, I know. I'm so proud of you. I think Chloe winning first place is exactly what she needed. I think Chloe forgets all the time how fabulous she really is. I think Chloe's been working really hard for that. Yeah, she, you I did I think she it. was hungry for Secretly it. Secretly working hard. How great for Seth, for she, she pulled it out. She, yeah, she, she pulled, pulled it, out. it out. She would have been very proud, I think. You happy? No, I'm appalled. Kendall? Backstage is not an area to be rehearsing and risk kicking somebody or. Solo division, this is entry number. Two. Maddie and Mackenzie, when they were doing their number backstage. Could you see them from where you were sitting? Absolutely. Okay. And she was coming out. No, no. They were. My point is, I could see everybody backstage. Her point always is, is that it wasn't no. my kid. It was everybody's no, no. kid. Doing well, it. and so the yellow players are getting ready to You come out only on selectively pick on my kid. No. Every single one of them were back there practicing their number. I saw Chloe, too. Look, if I can see you, you can see me. So if they're in the wings and they can see any of the judges or any of the audience, that means the judges in the audience can see them. Right. So you move way over here. OK, but I'm telling you, you go out not the one door. of those kids did that. Look, in you go this over case, here and they out the door, and then you do it. Yes? Yes. It's a very simple Abby, you're missing my stage point. etiquette. Yell at all the kids, because all the kids did it, I not will. just Kendall. Where's Abby? Where is she? I wonder where Abby is. She ditched us in Jersey. Maybe she didn't come home. Abby's late to Pyramid because she doesn't want to face the moms. Last time she saw us, she ditched us and our kids, and we're going to hold her accountable for that. Who thinks Miss Abby is going to apologize for leaving us stranded? Oh, God, no. She never apologizes. Honestly, I think there's only one reason why Abby left the competition in New Jersey, and that's because Maddie forgot her dance, and it's totally unreasonable. I want to go again. Can I please go again? Does anybody feel black cloud approaching? What's yeah. the weather forecast? So, 
I guess it's welcome back. New York City didn't turn out exactly the way I had hoped. In 10th place, heard them first, Abby Lee Dance Company. Hey there. Chloe, congratulations. You were the winner. Our top junior soloist, Saint 91, Red Lee. You didn't only win for yourself, you won for the Abby Lee Dance Company. You won for me, for my name and my reputation, so that was good. Uh, Holly, you were quite upset with me. And I didn't see any tears from you, Abby, when my kid ran off the stage. It's I don't a horrific. Care. I don't care. I know you don't care, and that's my point. Um, I think you assumed that I was upset because Maddie ran off the stage. And you're absolutely right. And that's why I left. After Maddie forgetting her dance, I was at my wit's end. As their coach, as their teacher, they all deserve a hug. Nia had you. She went to you when she forgot her dance. Why don't you be the adult and the leader and console them first? You, you yelled at Paige and told her she was stupid. And when Maddie does it, oh, you forgive her and it's OK. It's not her fault. Yeah, I think the case in point is, is we know that you don't care. Some kids are just special. I did not abandon the team. Nobody pays me to go to a competition. I am going there to be the dance teacher, not to sit in a room and babysit their children. Enough. My time is very valuable. I did not call you in here to discuss this. We're talking about this week. You are going to Next Star competition in LA, and those little kids in LA are good, and you all know that. And my trio is going to be Chloe, Brooke, Paige. And I need you to be on fire on that stage. That was pretty depressing down there. I was pretty she's irritated. A, she's, a, I, she's a despicable person. We know exactly what happened, and she just changed the truth. Arms, Chloe. You know, I'm a little nervous about Chloe leading this team to victory. Next star is one tough competition. I just wish Maddie was ready to go and had her head back in the game. Every time something goes wrong, what, is she going to get up and leave? I don't think she would. But I think that we need to make it known to her that, you know what, if you want to leave again, go, go ahead, ahead and leave. We don't fine. need you. How do you feel about it, Melissa? Well, she lied to me, so I was, I mean, I'm just upset because of that. She told me she was going home to her mom, so I called her a car. She told me the reason she left the team in New Jersey was because her mom is really ill, so I believed that she was going home to see her mom. So now the truth is out. Melissa knew that Abby was going to leave the competition. She even helped her. She called the cab. But did you say anything to her? Like, Abby, why did you do that to me? You made me look like an idiot. Nope. Well, all I could think of is if Abby's supposed to be your friend, Melissa, that was not a very friendly thing to do. A friend doesn't do that to a friend. You, you should go in and say something because you're the one she lied to. It should be you because you're the one who she lied to. So it should be you. And you're the one that called the cab for her having to leave, the confrontation with her, not us. I feel that Christy and Kelly can care less if I was mistreated by Abby. They just want to cause trouble and drama. No problem. Good luck with all of that. All right, what can I help you all with? I'm getting so much slack from everybody that, you know, I always kiss your butt and everything. And they need to get over it. They've been jealous since Maddie from day one, and they still are. I think we just want to know that our kids have you to back them up. Right. We travel as a team, we go as a team, we leave as a team. Well, no. I'm not going to sit here and promise that forever, no. I, I think they're all good to go. I think you're all crazy. You don't pay for my trip. You don't pay my hotel bill. You don't pay my airfare. Those are just a bunch of excuses you made to cover your You can't be here. Dial 911. Yeah. Get her out. OK. Our conversation yesterday at the front desk kind of threw me for a loop. Melissa, I got to just put it out there. I <laughs> thought we were going downstairs. If memory serves me correctly, we were going to have your back, and you were going to introduce the topic. I said to Abby that everybody's been on my case all the time. It's all about Maddie, 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 Maddie. The real reason she brought me into the bathroom, she told me I need to go home to my mother, and I believed her. It's but fine. you and sat up she... here and said that you were mad that she lied to you. So we said, go tell her that you're upset. We wanted you to say to her, why did, why you, did you lie? lie? To me? You have to step up to the I know, plate. I know, and I that know. was a perfect opportunity for you to do it. And you threw us under the bus. It's so hard for me. It's hard for all of us. I Melissa know, always says that we're so mean to her, that we never take her side. But she lied to us again. So how can I trust somebody who constantly lies? I'm a nervous wreck when it but comes you to up here and said, But you're still not sticking up for yourself. And I know I never do. I'm a doormat. I
Brooke, Chloe, and Paige are doing a trio, and it's called Girls in the House. I definitely think this is gonna be a challenging trio because we have three girls that dance three different styles. Okay, step out on your left foot and like take your arms and brush them back and stick your rear end out like this. Boom. Ba, ball, change. Five, six, ready right here. Five, Maddie, can you demonstrate for me? I'm a little confused why the swing, Maddie, is now demonstrating how the trio is properly done to the girls in the trio. Is that just another way for Abby to rub it in their face that she feels that Maddie's the best dancer in the group? Maddie, count Chloe's section and make sure you give me the right counts. Chloe has to realize this is how hard I push Maddie. This is how I train girls to get to the top of that pyramid. Squat and touch the floor. Squat and touch the floor. Your feet should be together. Paige, you're too far away from the other two. Move over, Paige. I don't understand our choreography lately. Mm -mm. It just seems so stupid. It's not impressive. Walk. I mean, we do a lot of posing, a lot of walking around, and you know, like, where's the technique? Get not relevant. I hate that. Yeah. I do too. Three of them break their knees. I'm a little bit nervous for the trio because. This is my first time doing it with Brooke, and if I make a mistake, Abby will yell at me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Girls in the House. Do you know you forgot to step? You did? What happened? Mm. Well, don't laugh about it. It's not funny. You can't go out there and not do the choreography we're given. I don't think we're not going to win because she missed a kick. I think we're going to lose because the choreography wasn't like the ones at, like before us, just from what I saw. I saw two dances, and they were amazing. You saw a duet? Well, I didn't see what you saw, so I don't know. All right, well. That's it, Mother Knows Best. Final high scores. Top five, nine to 11 duet trios. Fourth place, entry number 161, Love, Love, Love. Third place, it's gonna go to entry number 162, Girls in the House. Considering all the things that the trio had working against them, you know, bad costumes, bad choreography, bad music, I thought that Chloe, Brooke, and Paige really did well with what they had to work with. Girls, come on, I want to talk to you. Moms, I came, I flew 3,000 miles, did everything I was supposed to do for that. Really? You started out great. Your individual parts were wonderful. As soon as you had to dance together as a group, to hell in a handbasket. OK, but why can't we? Look at your daughter. She's 14 years old. She couldn't do the turns in second. Her knees bent. OK, She's so late. work on them with her. You, the only, you only give them practice with their turns. Give the other three She's who are in, in the, the same group. studio with the same teachers. Work on it with them. Go you go sit there. You. Work go on it with them. them. OK, honey, right now, let's go. 32 Go. Go. 
Well, obviously, she can't do 32 no. food. She can't do one! Girl, work on it with them. You're her teacher. Hurry, don't be so stupid all the time. I'm not stupid at Yes, you are. Don't you be a bad teacher. I put the dances in it. I find it so insulting that Abby came into the room and told our kids that they weren't committed. Those kids bust their butts for her. I'm not happy with what I saw. I definitely think that Abby's choreography is getting stale. I think she's been doing this for too long. Maybe I need to go somewhere else. I know. Me and Christy. Christy and I! You idiot! Christy and I! Oh my god! Zach, you've lost it, Abby. You've been doing it too long. You're stale. My stale is better than your best day will ever be. <laughs> Look in the mirror, girlfriend. Look in the mirror. Please. Don't eat me, Abby. Don't eat me. You know what? <laughs>
I can live with. It can be a big moment for good or for the bad. The lip sync, which well, I'm assuming what she what she's gonna have to do I'm because really, without that dancing, it's not I'm possible. Ready. Anthony's gonna have to be patient and watch what's gonna happen, the same way that Billy had to watch World of Dance. And if these two guys don't understand when I make my decision and it's final, then one or both of them are gonna be gone. Creatively, I don't want to have a problem with you with regards to someone else's production. Okay. Billy's going to do his thing, and I don't want your opinion on what Billy's doing done, until done it's done. Done, done and done. Then we don't have a problem done, with done, it. Done and done. I come all the way to Vegas, waste money, waste time, waste energy, waste creative ideas for it all to be washed down by the wayside. Push! Turn and hit it! Hey, Jean Chloe, you will also be performing a duet. The name of the duet, aptly titled Wishbone. Some of my go-to girls for solos and duets are competing in another competition, so I have to rely on Paige. I hope Kelly embraces this as a wonderful opportunity for Paige, instead of having a hissy fit because Paige has too much on her plate. And I will also be hosting my third open call audition, New York City. Chloe, you're going to come to the audition, and your mom, it's gonna work too. Kelly, you think you're up to helping Christy? Yeah. Paige and Brooke, you will be accompanying your mother, Chloe and Christy, to New York City on Friday. I have a question. Yes. What are Mackenzie, Maddie, Nia, and Kendall doing while we're in auditions? They're attending Nouveau Dance Competition in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Not only do we have a competition in New York, but Maddie and her friend Kalani are getting to do a duet at Nouveau. I don't hold my students back. That's a competition that I want to attend. We have one day, this is it, let's do it. So you're going down, up, hook. Down, 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 and then you're gonna like break away and PK back. Chloe played the duet music for me in the car on the way. Is it good? Yeah, it's really pretty, but the words, you were my friend, but we, you grew up like my sister. Aww. And it says, like, you taught me how to do my makeup. I, I mean, it's, that's, that's so it's cute. really sweet. You're going to New York City. It's going to be big. I don't think by the end of the audition, you're going to be as confident as you are right now. Are you better than they are? I don't know. I just don't know when this became sabotage your students. Last time Paige had a solo, she forgot it. Chloe struggles with confidence every week. What about those two screams, I'm so full of myself? I know. And All right, now the duet, I'm probably not gonna get to talk to you guys back there. All right, I'm gonna go because there's some other kids from the audition that I wanna watch. After seeing Brooke and Paige do their solos, I'm getting a little worried. I'm not sure what's gonna happen with Chloe and Paige out there. They may be a hot mess. The duet with Maddie and Kalani is my secret weapon. I wanna enter that here at Sheer Talent because I need a big win in New York City. Yeah, she can they do it. it as an exhibition and not compete against Paige and Brooke or Paige and Chloe? And not be scored? Mm -hmm. Not be adjudicated. But I so want a winning duet. You will. This there are duets gonna win. I don't think so. Yesterday, when Abby was having her open auditions in New York, Maddie and Kalani were in Pittsburgh competing their duet. And Abby mentioned that she might want to put it into the competition this weekend. She never mentioned it again. I said, oh, no big deal just blew over. You know, I know if this happens, Christy and Kelly are gonna be so pissed off. Thing out of that. Like, they're doing that, they're doing their duet. What? Who's doing their duet? Kalani and Maddie. Here? Ooh, I don't like this. Wow. Melissa tells us that Abby is entering Kalani and Maddie's duet in this competition, and she's acting all shocked about it. And when we asked Melissa if Maddie was even doing a duet at this competition with Kalani, she flat out said no. And Maddie said no. OK, judges, we are now going to entry number 76. Entry number 76 is a preteen teen duet lyrical. Please welcome to Sapphires. <laughs>
honestly, Abby wants this Kalani to be part of the team. I mean, she secretly brought her in. She knows this duet because she learned it at booty camp and upset Chloe and Paige. You did all your auditions. Replace us already. Entry number 165 is a free tea duet contemporary. Please welcome Wishbone. Jenny was a good girl, always tried to do her best We grew up like sisters more than friends What I would give to know that you were okay How did we get this way? We started out the same before we split just I think the hardest thing for Chloe is she asked Maddie if she was doing the duet, and Maddie lied to her. I feel bad that Chloe had to learn this lesson this way, but you know, I don't expect anything less from Melissa. Well, Melissa, I didn't hear any special announcement that they weren't being adjudicated. Liar. I wasn't a liar, I asked Abby. I was not a liar. You lie all the time, Melissa, and now you're having your kid lie. Yeah. Ma Maddie lied to yes. Chloe's face. Yes, she did. Upstairs. In the dressing. Yes, she did. No, I asked Abby if they could be adjudicated. Okay. It's up to her. She's the dance teacher. But you was told not to say anything. I didn't even think they were going to go because I asked and they oh said, my okay, God. Just said, I said you the other day. Uh, there. Like when You're you... always told to not say anything, but we always tell everybody everything. No, you don't. Oh, what, ask, what do they, we, girls? What haven't oh, we don't I tell you? You guys what always do I stuff behind you? our backs all what, the time. What, what don't I, I tell you? I don't know, but you guys are always secret. Because we don't trust you. Find out. Hard lesson to learn when you're 12, that your friends really aren't their friends their mothers will stab you right in the heart. So they said, absolutely not today. So I said, good. Let's just get it over with. Good Maddie, job. did you lie to them? No, I'm saying we did our duet for new, but that's a competition I was talking about. I didn't know if we were doing well, it no, here. You know what? Here's the thing. You just keep your head up. Don't let all of that get to any of you. And okay? other people are allowed to I know Chloe. Too. I know. Poor Chloe. Just, you know who your friends are. That's all I gotta say. OK. Well, we know I'm it's nice important. Friend. Maddie's for you are perfect. Apparently not. I don't understand why they're so hard on me about it. It's just a dance. It's two minutes worth of my life, and it's over with now. And it's not like it's the end of the world. Like, they just have to calm down. She wanted us to Hello. sell t-shirts with her name on it? No. Hello. Hi. Girls, you all know Kalani. Yes, that's right. Of course, Jill. I know some of the moms didn't recognize her when she came in, but this is her mother, Kira. Hi. Say hello. Hi. Abby parading her dancers through the dressing room just goes to show she's trying to psych out her own team. Like, what kind of teacher does that? So, moms, I've had auditions, and I've seen a lot of great talent. So I think Kalani might be our right fit. The whole package. Right. So Kalani has the package. And I just said to Kalani in the other room, I said, well, you might have to just do a solo. She goes, well, I don't have a solo yet. I'll just improv. Turn the music on. Brooke, I gave you how many opportunities last week to do something on a chair, to get on it, to get off it, to come up with something cool? You stood on it. Well, maybe you, you should replace it. her. We don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to do it. And I'm tired of Abby throwing it in my face every week that she's going to replace my kids. Here, replace them. Kalani, do you know the group dance? Yes, I know it, but not like that well. I kind of know. Are you in the group dance? I don't think so. Are you, is no. she in? OK, no. just checking. No, I don't know. Look at Brooke. Over there. Didn't her mother just say to replace her? Brooke, is your mother no, speaking for you? We come as a team. Brooke? We're all leaving. Brooke, is your mother speaking for you? Do you not want to dance? I just want your mother to quit speaking for you. You're 15 years old. Grow the hell up. You know what? You shut the hell up. See how she talks to me? Abby, if you're not happy with my kid because she doesn't sit here and smart mouth you and say something back, we will leave. That's fine. Kelly, why? I don't. I'm you know just what? asking. Don't even. I'm speak just to asking. Me. 
Oh. Don't even speak to me. Oh, why can't I speak to you? Because I don't want to speak to you. We're coming into this all new. And so I just want to know what we're getting into. A bully for a teacher. Here's your costumes. Enjoy the dance. It's girls. Let's go. Kelly, we don't want you to go. The girls, do you, you guys well, don't want to go. Well, obviously she wants someone who has never danced here take both of my kids' place. No, she no the kids want to dance. That's Brooke, she she that's that's dance. She came no, in you, you just said... sit here and say that my daughter looks miserable, so maybe we should put Kalani in her place. No, I never said yes, that. Yes, you most certainly no, did. No, I didn't, ding that. Listen, I said, Brooke, is your mother Get speaking your for finger you? Do you out want to of be my here? face. Girls, out the room. Yeah, Girls, you wouldn't out the room. Get away from me. Out the room. Get away from me. Out the room. Girls, out of the room. Who do you think you are? Girls, out of the room. Turn around, turn around. You are not. Get away from Call the police right now. Go ahead. You are coming at me. Oh, I, I was not looking. I was over this way. <laughs> That's ridiculous. You know what? That's Call the police. <laughs> We've had knockdown, drag out, screaming battles before, but we've never been physical with one another. Second place goes to entry number 165, Wishbone. that Maddie and Kalani's win was worth it to Melissa because she just lost a couple of friends and she just hurt a couple of kids.